while our turn function does seem to work well, it lacks the obvious feature of being able to select or determine the direction that we want to change or we would like our robot to turn. To change to add this functionality, I'm first going to define right as being the number one and left as being negative one. It doesn't really matter which these are, I just chose right as one because uh, on the right hand side of the number line right is one and left is negative one. Uh, the, what's happening here is now for the rest of the code whenever the compiler sees right or left instead of uh, reading that it's actually going to read a one or a negative one. So every time you see those two words you can just think to yourself one or negative one. Uh, we do this to make the code easier for humans to read. So now I'm going to my turn function and I'm adding an argument called direction. Uh, you'll see it lights up as yellow because direction is some sort of keyword somewhere in the Arduino programming environment. Don't worry about it, it'll work fine. Now I'm going to say times direction. And what's happening here is if I pass the word right, direction will be a 1, and power times 1 is, it doesn't change anything, it'll still be power. Same thing for the right motor. However, if I put in a left when I call my turn function, then what's going to be passed is a negative 1, and power times negative 1 is going to give me a negative value, so it'll end up subtracting from the 1500 instead of adding to it. To employ this functionality when we call it, we actually have to call two um, or input two uh, arguments now. I'm going to go ahead and say left to test it out and then I'm going to make it turn right. Let's see how that works. Perfect.